Uh, this video will be an inbox review of the Hawker Hurricane Trop Tropical from Airfix in 148 scale. I already have one Hawker Hurricane, but I wanted to make a second one with a, a tropical camouflage or the desert camouflage. And uh, I have um, four or five different Airfix kits, but I haven't built any yet. And they'll be coming someday after we get moved, probably. Um, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell when you want to watch more videos. And thanks. So here's the box art for the this Hawker Hurricane Mark 1 Tropical. And I already have a Hawker Hurricane Mark 1B, but I wanted to, I, I I bought a second version of the the, the Hurricane, uh, the P40 and the BF109. I wanted to do uh, desert versions of all three to go, you know, to show different camouflage patterns and such. Now I have uh, four, maybe five Airfix kits in my stash, but I have not built one yet. I don't have any kits from Airfix built. But, you know, it's an old company and it's supposed to be pretty good. So let's take a look at how this kit looks. Here are the clear parts here first. They look crystal clear. There's two different canopies. Lights. The uh, landing lights for the wings. Look pretty good. Take a look at the instruction sheet and the decals. Well, that's a pretty thick instruction sheet for an aircraft. Okay. Now, uh, what does the red mean? Oh, it indicates final location. Now, looking at it, it looks pretty detailed actually. You have frames. Look at this. The the frames for the inside of the cockpit that looks pretty dang good. A lot of detail. Looks good. Looks a lot better than the other one, I think. Here's the machine guns for the wings. Four on each side. Now this was a, a newly released a uh, couple years ago, I think. Or maybe it was last year. I was waiting for it to come out and I bought it as soon as it came out and it didn't cost that much either. It was 20 something euros. And it looks like it's well worth it. Here's the wings and the frame and everything for the cockpit, the internal parts. And you put the fuses together. And I could see that that could cause some problems. When you put the top on the Put the two pieces together that it's aligned right. Here you can have uh, you can change the flaps, which is cool. Not a lot of here comes the extra piece to add the frame parts are the uh, hold these. Uh, I think they're actuators for the for the intake there, or for the air cooler radiator. This is a little olive green and a brown. And then the cowling looks really weird there. On, on the intake here under. Looks kind of weird. It almost looks like a German camouflage pattern. With the gray in the background, but these green and red. Those are German colors. They look like it. Rhodesian Air Training Group, Rhodesia. 
That's an aluminum. So I will be doing this version here. Number 224 Squadron, Royal Air Force, City Barani, Egypt, 1941. Okay, this is aluminum here. With a brick red and dark green. Dark earth. Midstone. I think I, I already have midstone. Colors I already bought. Let's take a look at the uh, decals here. Okay, we have decals, decals for the uh, instrument panel. Decals look really good. They don't look thick. They do feel kind of thick, though. Look in register. They're in the 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 the, uh, the randels are centered. Sometimes you find on models that the randels aren't centered. The circles aren't concentric. So let's take a look at the parts here. <clears throat> and there's a fuselage. Looks pretty good actually. It doesn't look like the details are overdone. Like I see sometimes on the other one that I have, here is a lot the, the lines are a lot um, heavier and I also read that that's like overdone it should be lighter like this this plastic isn't like it's smoothed out it looks more like fabric and I think that's probably right There's a lot of good detail here it looks like two propellers here's the frames you see here there's these some tabs you gotta Get rid of it, cut off. Here, the stabilizers look good too. Not overdone. Take a look at the wings next here. The same thing. Here's the holes for the machine guns. Look pretty good. Once again, it's not as smooth, it, it's more a grained plastic. It's, it's a little rough. It's probably about right for. I think I, I think if I remember right, the wings were wood. But the later versions had metal wings, and the um, on the on the on the fuselage it was cloth. But I think the wings were wood covered in cloth, and on the later versions it was metal covered in cloth. I might be thinking of another fighter, actually. Here's a horizontal stabilizer. Or the, uh, the end of it. There's some cleanup here. Let's do there and there. The back of the seat. There's some good detail. It has bolt bolts on it here. Here's pin marks, but I believe they'll be covered. Pin marks on the back of the seat too, but it's not going to be visible. <coughs> the underside of the wings. Here's the holes for the ammo to come out. Uh, the spent, sh spent shell casings to come out. I always paint them black so it looks like it's hollow. That's for the light. I usually use aluminum in there. Here's a really... I'm wondering if that's not too deep for this... for the flaps here. Or for the... Uh, that's the brakes. I think it looks really good though. The wing spar, nice detail. 
wheels look good too. They're flattened, weighted. You have here, this is a single piece, but the outside of the wheels are, the outside of the wheels are separate pieces with the, the rims somewhere, <laughs> not on this tree. Here are the landing gear doors, bolt hole uh, rivets there. Look good. It looks good. The parts look really good. Here's the horizontal stabilizer too. The intake. The cover for the uh, radiator. Good lines. This looks like a really good kit. Especially for the price I paid for it. It wasn't expensive at all. And look, the instrument panel also has the instruments on it, so you can either use a decal or you can paint it. Here's the exhausts. They look a lot better than the exhaust did on the other one I bought. Ah. Here's the... For, for the wheels, for the front wheels. But here's another front wheel. There's two, two different sets of, of, of the back side. Both are weighted. I can't really see what the difference is. So for these might be a little bit bigger. Intake. Pilot. I never make the pilots. I, I, I mean, I could paint the uniforms, but I can't paint the faces. I don't know. I just, I've never been able to get the skin tone right. It has probably a lot to do with the paint I use. Ravel paint has no good skin tone color. But I bought some... Vallejo glass. And I might try it with Vallejo. Well, that's not really... The colors I bought from the label aren't really anything I could use for that. But they have skin tones too. I might try to get some and try to keep trying until I can actually get it right. And I've been doing models for 30 years and I can't paint figures. But maybe I just need somebody to show me. Well, I like the way this looks. This is a good model. I mean, a good kit. And the, the Hawker Hurricane was one of Britain's best fighters in the early war. Of course, the Spitfire came and took... Well, actually, the Spitfire had a worse record than the Hurricane, from what I read. Um, this is a good kit. I would recommend it. Um, I can't wait to see how it builds up. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like to my channel. Bye.